what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Five Sub Dose Life. It's Five Sub Dose. Today we've got 26 PC mods in testing. We got eight console mods in testing. With all those 20 mods were released today. A2 Studio made a big announcement in his live stream last night. Sid Modding's working on some new John Deere articulated tractors. Custom Modding talk about their 2150 planter. Plus, 40 Modding show new screenshots of their dually trailer. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have the Agco 1500 2545 weight pack, AGM TM240, Brick Garage, Floss Challenger 95E, Cow Husbandry with Biomilk, Dabroka, the Dog Challenger 95E, Euromass WPJH, Ranger Silo, Hepadow, Hilltop Falls, I for Williams TT3621, Italian Rice XL, John Deere 7R 2014, Kerner Corona 300, Kerner Corona 500, Large Farm Workshop, Lizard Gia Car, Blizzard SP700 Salt Spreader, Matra BMM 180, MTZ Bolaris 1523, P392 2, Weavon HV, Riverbird, Tractor Sound Pack, and Vehicle Workshop Ramps. It's SD4 consoles. We have the Big Sheep Shed, Brantner TA16053, Cow Farm Pack, Deutz DO6 Series, Millennial Farms, OBE Spreader Pack, Samson SP1417, and Wooden Barns. With all that being said, we still have 12 mod city waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods. Oh, Oh yeah, it is one work day. In addition to the mods and testing, 20 new and updated mods were released today on the in-game mod up, including the John Deere X9 Combine. I've already made a video showing these up. You can find that video linked in the description and the first pinned comment below. Moving into today's top stories, we're gonna start with a big one. Last night, A2 Square Studios showed off something in his live stream that we thought we would never see from him. Auto load bell trailers, but not just any auto load trailers, but three different models, including a 22 bell trailer, 48 foot enclosed trailer, and a new bailet bed for the TLX 2020. There are no release dates for these mods, but I can tell you that they have all been made for all platforms and will be submitted for testing soon. You can check out these in greater detail by checking out the link in the description beside A2 Studio YT and tuning into a special farm some news this weekend on Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern, where myself and Clutch Simulations will be interviewing A2 Studio and talking about all of their current mods. Mods in progress, works in progress, and everything they've got going on. Hey, even how they got so popular so fast. How did you do it so fast? You don't want to miss it. Next up, we hear from Sid Monning and some new tractors that he's working on. As you know, he's currently working on a John Deere 9X30 tractor, but he has announced today that we will be adding the 9X00 and the 9X20 tractor series to the mix. These are some serious machines, and I know console players and PC players alike will be able to appreciate a proper John Deere 9000 in the game. Next, we hear from Custom Modding saying much love from the Red Farm. Only our Case IH Tiger Maid 255 and a good sprayer are missing. Is this some teasing work on a case sprayer? I know the Serious Modding were working on one at one point, but we haven't got any information from them in quite a while. Regardless, they say that sometime later today, they will have more information on their Case IH 2150 and how they are progressing with it. Stay tuned, as I'll be reporting on that tomorrow once that information has been made here on Farm Sim News. You can also follow Custom Modding on Facebook to stay up to date minute by minute with their progress before the news drops on this channel. We'll have that link below. And lastly today, 40 Modding show more progress on their dually silage and grain trailers, saying that the body, silage sides, and chassis is all progressing well. They have been keeping us updated with this mod almost daily, so stay tuned as I'll be reporting on this once more information drops as well. 40 Modding are some of the best most realistic modders out there, and every one of their mods has been preceded with great anticipation. This is no different. Something else that's no different is my outros. Oof, just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, then that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel for new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. My haircut got changed. We still have beard go ham at least until next Friday.